In this new video, we will see how to make two Arduino boards communicate with each other by sending a message from one transmitter home to the other Arduino. We will use it instead as a receiver to receive a text message. We will do this through the NRF24L01 modules, which are two modules that operate on 2 GHz and 4. They are very useful for exchanging wireless messages between various types of microcontrollers. They work on Arduino Raspberry and um, ESPA266, ADA to CCC. The basic idea therefore is to use a first Arduino as the transmitter and another Arduino as the receiver. So we will need two NRF modules, NRF2. These will obviously be connected reciprocally to the two Arduinos from the Arduino TX we will write a text message and this through the NRF1 module will be sent to the second module and then we will see on the receiver serial monitor the text that was sent from the first Arduino. Specifically we will use an Arduino Nano as the transmitter and an Arduino Uno for the receiving part. The NRF24L01 module is available in a basic version with a limited range of a few tens of meters. And there is also a slightly more powerful version that allows us to purchase the same module, which also has an LNA, thus an external antenna, a bit more performant and therefore gives us a higher range. For convenience, I include in the video link the two scripts transmitter and receiver of the device. The first thing we are going to do, of course, is to download the pinout of the device. So we are talking about this NRF. And by following the colors, we found on the pinout E to simplify. Let's say the assembly. I use the same colors that we find in the pinout, something we need to pay particular attention to. So this first NRF is connected to this Arduino Nano version. And be careful. So digital part. The pins to connect range from 9 to 13. Now let's see in what sequence. And then the important thing is that the power supply we need to provide to the NRF module must be in volts. So be careful to correctly select on the Arduino Nano board and on the board. Um, o Arduino. Boom. Pin related to volts and not 5 volts. Otherwise we might break the module. So as a first step, let's check the correspondence between the pinout of the module NRF24 so placing it with the antenna facing to the right let's see the entire pinout in order you can see that I have kept the colors as much as possible like those indicated in the diagram to simplify the assembly so black is the ground then we have the 3.3V power supply so be careful indeed to select even in the case of the receiver you see that the power supply so the red wire should be connected to the 3.3v pin and not the 5v don't make a mistake otherwise we can damage the module and then all the others consequently from 9 to 13v as a digital connection and from red and black obviously volt in, in, in ground once we have made the connections we will use Arduino Nano with this first transmitter for message transmission and we will use Arduino Uno with the other NRS receiver. Moving on to programming, we see here on the left the sketch for the transmitter and on the right the sketch for the receiver. Let's focus first on the transmission. So let's connect our Arduino Nano to the uh, USB port to the USB port of our computer. We wait for it to be recognized. You see Arduino Nano on COM5 here at the bottom right and and the code is quite simple. The SPI libraries need to be included for the serial communication protocol and of course the library from the chip manufacturer. Uh, this makes our life much easier because we simply define a radio variable to which we pass the pins it is connected to. So 910, CE and CSN and then a fundamental thing to make everything work is to decide on the transmission channel. This is because we can use multiple transmission modules simultaneously. 
and each will operate on a different radio channel. So this has been set to 0, 0, 0 1. The rest of the code also here in the setup. We have an initialization fundamentally of the library that starts in the transmission or listening part, depending on whether it is a transmitter or receiver. You see that the fundamental difference will be found here. And in the, in the mode with which the radio object is initialized, in the case of the transmitter, it will be on stop listening. In the case of the receiver, it will be start listening. Within the loop, the transmitter defines as a constant string the text that we want to transmit. So I wrote, hello, I am the transmitter. And then we also write in the serial print to have feedback from the serial monitor that the transmitter is indeed transmitting that signal. If we want to have proof of this, we go to do a compilation of this script. We clean the output of the serial monitor and you see that every two seconds, as per the code, the Arduino Nano is telling us that indeed it has executed the sending of that string and we have also rewritten it within the serial monitor. We then firstly disconnect the Arduino Nano, which is the transmitter, and then we connect the Arduino to the USB Type B port 1 that we will program as the receiver. So here too we wait for the connection on the serial. We wait for the connection, in this case, Arduino on Komoit. This time we load and compile this other text, this other code in the fundamental loop of the initial part. Pay the same attention to obviously set the same channel as the transmitter to be able to receive the signal. And here, in this case, we proceed to initialize a textual variable that will then be filled by concatenating the text received through the listening function of the radio. In this case, we will write the received message in the serial monitor, and this will be done in a loop. Each time, every two seconds, because the message is transmitted every two seconds. Here too, we proceed to compile the sketch on the receiver. We wait for the end, and open the serial monitor. Obviously, the Cinemolito is not receiving anything at the moment, because the transmitter is currently disconnected. So now I will simply reconnect the transmitter. So, I power the transmitter, and you see that immediately, as I turn on the e transmitter, the receiver starts receiving the message every two seconds. This device is very convenient for sending messages, so from here, let your imagination run wild. We can use it to remotely control a condition, like a sort of remote control. We can turn on an LED, move, activate a relay, use it as it has put in a radio control uh, for an object that needs to move with wheels or any other type of application where it can be used. Consider, I repeat, the range. It should be tested in open line anyway. We're talking about tens of meters, especially if we buy the version with the external antenna.